Hi, this is Style11, and I'm from Open Minded Gaming. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make your own LAN Mumble server. The LAN Mumble server tutorials on YouTube are hordacious. Yes, hordacious. I just took the last three hours wandering around trying to figure out how to get it set up, but this is exactly how you do it. So, all you need to do is download Mumble from here. Mumble. Oh, no, not that. Not that. Mumble. Right? Right? Let's see, where is it? Da, da, da. Okay, 1.27 stable. That's what we want. Okay. If you need to say that again, go back down. It's right here under Git Mumble. Okay, after that, you install it, of course, which I've already done. But to install it, you just um, find out where you downloaded it from. So for me, it would be downloads or whatever. I guess, uh, yeah, I'm not going to mess with my settings because I don't want to screw it up. Anyway, if you download it, okay, after you download it, you have to open up two things. You have to open up Murmur and you have to un open up Mumble. Murmur is your server. I guess there is one point that I need to show you about installing it. Well, no. Well, whenever you install it, just make sure you install both. There's two little boxes. There's a a red box with an X and just make sure you install a server as well. Anyway. But yeah, I can show you. Hold on. If I go to uninstall and I go to mumble, and I go to change Go to next, change. See this box right here, mumble server. See, it'll start like that, but you just put it on will be we will I uh, will be installed on local hard drive. That's how you do it. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Now, from there, like I said, you you just find out wherever you install it to and start running it. You have to open two things. If you need to know why, if this is working or not, you right click and you s say show log. Right now my log looks a bit crazy because it's connected to the server. But hold on, let me show you what it should look like. Disconnected from server. I'll show you what it should look like when you're not on a server. Hold on, I gotta restart it now. Let's hope that it goes back. Oh, what the? F wow. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, this is what it should say. It should say this exactly. S server listening on whatever. Um, announcing server via bonjour. That is the most important part of this. In the other guides that I watched, they didn't mention anything about bonjour. Bonjour is the most important, po important port important part of this um, tutorial none of this matters if you're just this is for a local server this is your own server that none of this matters because no one else is going to be connecting to it it's your own land also you can make it to where other people can connect as well but this is just for me to do something Anyway, announcing server via Bonjour. When I first installed it, it said something about a DLL file it couldn't install, or that w did not load correctly. Whenever you, and you, um, it's this file right here, dnssd.dll. 
That's what it said that it was failed to load or something like that. All you have to do is you download the file, which is what I did already. You download the zip file. Wow, link has expired. Link has expired. All right. You download the zip file and you click it. You have to have a program called WinRAR. See WinRAR.exe to to um, extract it. See DN SSD.dll. Extract the specified folder. Then you look. You find your Mumble folder, which is in. Um, it could be in different places depending on what your operating system you have and whatnot. But the common place will be C. Program files. Oops, not that. Well, not that. No. Mumble. You can just say M. Mumble. So you can just extract it there, and it'll be fine. Anyway, the third thing and last thing you need to do for this to work that they did not tell me about is you have to download a program called Bonjour. Just keep all the, just put in download Bonjour. And I clicked right here. It's an Apple product, GG, but it works. What it does is it makes it so you can see your own network. My problem was that I could not see my own network that I was trying to connect to. And this is a program that automatically allows you to see. But let me show you something. Oh, yeah, there's also one more thing I forgot. Um, you have to go to your directory where Mumble is installed and click on something. I'll show you. I'll, I'll take you there. See, I'm already in this. It says Programs, Mumble. You go down until you see something called murmur right here configuration settings you right click and you go to properties you go to security you click on yourself you hit edit and you say click on what well, you click on yourself after you hit edit and then you can change all these these um permissions for yourself so you're able to change what's written in that that document because if not you're not going to be able to change it it's going to say access denied that's the easiest way in my opinion so, after you do that, then you click on this file, and you look for, a, there's certain things you can change in here. This is kind of like the options menu, but it's just in text form, but a lot of, a lot of um, programs use it. See the hashtags? Um, this right here is what you need to change. You can just change whatever you want. If you're just using it for yourself, if it's just going to be a local, a LAN, you can just leave it like that. But you have to remove the hashtags. And yes, it doesn't have to have a password because it's just for you and whoever else is connecting that you give the information to. I may as well actually I may as well say it. like if you want if you want other people to be able to connect to it you have to to give them your local IP address. Your local IP address is easy to find. You just go to Google and type in IP. Whatever you use in any kind of like connection device or devices like Mumble or like if you're hosting any type of server for like a game, you always have to port forward and you always have to give them your local IP address. Port forwarding is is uh, not very hard. There's lots of tutorials on it, and it differs by uh, model of router. If you don't have a router, you don't have to port forward anything. You just have to allow the program through your firewall. Okay. So... 
that's all you have to change if you're just going to be using it for yourself anyway for a LAN setup so anyways after that then yeah you just download bonjour oh you already did that okay download bonjour then you start them um change it this the program won't be able to change until you like restart it but uh if it works it'll be there right away in the server list like let me show you it'll be right here see lan see voice omg whatever whatever you put in there oh also i forgot one thing whenever you edit this file the reason why you edit it well the reason why you edit the permissions where's the file okay well, it's not the file still. Oh, I clicked off it. Uh, Alright, yeah. Anyways. When you edit this file, wherever it went, this file, when you change anything in it, you have to go to save or save as. Because if you don't save it, it won't save it. So... Don't forget to do that as well. Anyways, I hope my tutorial helped you in any way. Um, I'm not sure I'll be like paying attention to the comments to help you guys troubleshoot anything. I'm not really that kind of guy. I was just kind of like sad that it took me three hours to get this to work because of people's tutorials being horrible. So I made my own. Mine is probably a bit like <laughs> like jumbled <laughs> because I like got some steps out of order but if you watch this whole video I guarantee you that you will understand what you're doing to set up your own LAN with mumble servers anyways take care good luck in life and that's it